What's up? I'm Jake Codeweiss with Musician on a Mission. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to compress vocals. Follow this step-by-step -step roadmap to get consistent, professional sounding vocals every time. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I've got a pro tip for you and a free bonus as usual. Let's dive right in. Step number one is prep the track. Before you start compressing vocals, you should make sure that all of your editing is done. Things like cutting out any unwanted noise, fixing timing issues, pitch correction, but most importantly, and this is the part that most people ignore, you should address obvious dynamic issues. I found that by sending your compressors an already somewhat consistent signal, they won't have to work as hard and you can get a nice upfront natural sounding vocal. You can use clip gain automation to adjust the volume levels of the vocal before it even hits compression. For example, there are a few spots on this waveform that obviously don't fit in with the average signal level. You can quickly tell just by the size. So what you can do is select just that portion of the waveform, separate it from the rest of the region, and bring the clips level up or down accordingly. Then crossfade the clips and play it back to make sure that the vocal sounds natural. I do the same thing I told you that I never would. I told you I'd change even when I knew I never could. Know that I can't find nobody else as good as you. I need you to stay, need you to stay. I do. If anything sounds out of place, make some more quick adjustments, play again, and move on. Now you don't have to be obsessively exact with this, just quickly go through and address any waveforms that clearly stand out from the rest. Let's move on to step number two, remove unwanted frequencies. Before you compress, it's important to remove any unwanted frequencies from the vocal so the compressor only reacts and draws attention to the good frequencies and not any of the gross stuff. For example, I've got some subtractive EQ first in the chain, high passing unnecessary low end and removing a bit of boxiness from the vocal. Now step number three is tame the peaks. Now we're ready for some actual compression. And the goal here is to set the compressor to react to and turn down just the loudest parts of the signal. This is gonna help control any volume spikes so the vocal doesn't pop out of the mix too much. For example, I've got a compressor dialed in with a three to one ratio, fast attack to quickly clamp down on any signal that goes above the threshold, and a fast release to quickly deactivate the compressor. Notice how the gain reduction meter only jumps up once in a while, indicating that we're only turning down the loudest parts of the vocal signal. I do the same thing I told you that I never would, I told you I'd change even when I knew I never could. Step number four is create further consistency. Now that the peaks are tamed, we're gonna add another compressor to add further consistency. Now the goal here is to set the compressor so that it constantly reacts to the signal, just slightly squashing the vocal and turning things down. Then you can use the makeup gain to bring the overall volume back up. For example, I've added a second compressor with similar settings to the first, but I've adjusted the threshold. Notice that the gain reduction meter is constantly reacting to the vocal, indicating that we've got a few decibels of consistent compression going on at all times. I do the same thing I told you that I never would. I told you I'd change even when I knew I never could. Now when you add multiple compressors like this, it's called serial compression. Very useful for getting that upfront vocal sound. At this point, all the heavy lifting is done. If you wanted, you could just stop right here and have a really great sounding vocal. But if you wanna take sculpting your vocal a little further, you can move on to step number five, add excitement. Adding a slow compressor to the end of the chain can help reintroduce some of that subtle pumping of the vocal in a controlled way and create a little bit more of an exciting or aggressive kind of sound. For example, I've added a third compressor with similar settings as the first two, but with a slow attack time to allow the transients to come through before the compressor clamps down on the signal. Listen to the before and after. I do the same thing I told you that I never would I do the same thing I told you that I never would Now I realize that's a really subtle change. Let's crank up the settings a little bit so you can really get a sense of what the compressor is actually doing. Told you I'd change even when I knew I never could. Told you I'd change even when I knew I never could. Next, I've got a quick pro tip for you, and that is to add character. Up to this point, we've been using a VCA compressor for everything, which is a great overall workhorse compressor. However, using different compressor types can change the tone of the vocal. Now, each compressor type has its own unique character, so experimentation is key. If you're not sure where to start, here are my go-to compressors for adding a little bit of coloration to the vocals. A 
fat compressor for peak taming, opto compressor for overall consistency, and another fat compressor for reintroducing excitement. For example, this is what that might actually look like in practice. An 1176 followed by an LA-2A followed by another 1176 with slower attack settings. Now, this setup is not Bible. It's totally based on preference. I probably learned it from somebody else, liked it, and just stuck with it. But here's the point I want you to take away from this. Knowing how to use compression in the first place will get you 90% of the way there, and then different compressor types will help shape that last 10% in a subtle way. So let's recap the steps for compressing vocals. Step one, prep the track. Step two, remove unwanted frequencies. Step three, tame the peaks. Step four, create further consistency. Step five, add excitement if needed. And our bonus pro tip, add character with different compressor types. Now, obviously there's much more to the music production process than just compressing vocals. This is just a small piece of the puzzle. So if you want to know the fastest way to produce music at a professional level, grow your audience, start making an income with music, join me for a free workshop I put together where I walk you through the six transformations you need to go through in order to make music your full-time source of income. It's totally free. Just follow the link in the description. And as always, if you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.